Hey y'all, it's Oms and welcome back to Aroma by Oms. So before we jump in today's video, I just want to remind you guys to check our link in the description below to not miss out on our discount, which is buy one get one half off. It's running until May 9th, which is Mother's Day, so you guys have plenty of time to cop some candles for your mom or just for yourself. So in this video, we are going to tackle everything about wicks. Now, now I cannot stress this enough, wicks are the most important part of the candle. Like, I know, yeah, you need the wax to make it, but if you don't have the wick, you can't burn it. So you need to make sure that you're using the right type of wick, it's the right size for your candle, or else you're gonna run into major issues and it's gonna mess everything up. Now, there are different types of wicks available for candle making. We have the Eco, CD, HT, P, and LX series, Zinc Core, Paper Core, and Wood Wicks. Now, I'm going to read off of Lone Star Candle Supply, which is a major candle supplier. They have a lot of information and guides to lead you to choosing the best material for your candles. So I'm gonna read directly off their website because that is what I use to make my choice. So the first wick we're gonna go over is the Eco Series wick and this is the description. The series is designed specifically for natural waxes. It's a flat cordless cotton wick braided with thin paper filaments interwoven for burn stability. This technique also improves rigidity compared to standard cotton or paper cord wicks. This wick provides a controlled curling of the wick, making it self-trimming, which results in a minimized mushrooming, suit, and smoke. I will say um, it is self-trimming at times, but there are times that you will see a little mushrooming, so make sure to trim your wick. Also wanna note that you don't always have to trim your wick, but if, there, if it is mushrooming, just cut that part off. But if it's not and it's just too low to trim, just don't trim, just keep lighting it. Probably the next time you're gonna have to trim it. The last important bit is that these wicks have been primed with vegetable wax rather than paraffin wax, enabling you to market your candles as all natural candles. So I use these wicks on top of my natural soy, so when I say our candles are natural, they are. So now to the HTP series. These are cordless, all cotton braided wicks, which are designed to bend at the tip when burning, forcing the tip of the wick into the outermost portion of the flame where it burns the hottest. So this is gonna create a bigger flame and a better melt pool. The LX Siri wicks consist of flat braided cotton wicks chemically treated with a high melt point wax. These wicks are designed to reduce mushrooming, which is the buildup of carbon at the tip of the wick, reduce smoke and suit, and when used properly, they are virtually self-trimming. So now we're going to zinc core wicks. These are the most commonly used wick type for many types of candles. They can be used for votives, pillars, and gel candles. So notice how they didn't say container candles, which is what I use. The wire core in the wick helps the wick to remain standing straight while the candle is being cored and when the candle is lit. Second to last, we have the paper core wicks, which burn very hot, yielding a large melt pool. And these are only used in large containers. Lastly, we have wood wicks. There are generally two types of wood wicks, the hardwood wicks and the softwood wicks. You may have seen hardwood wicks available, but they don't even compare to the superiority of softwood wicks. Our softwood wicks offer the unique sound of a wood burning fire as they crackle and pop while they burn, which for fall and winter honey, you need it. Softwood wicks are also very ideal for natural waxes such as soy and as well as waxes that hold a lot of fragrance oils such as soy. These are used in containers and should not be used in pillars or votives. When using wood wicks in pure soy, we recommend using a large or extra wig. This is to make sure the melt pool is wide enough since pure soy wax tends to hold in the heat as well as fragrance. So to achieve a good crackle from your candle, you want to make sure that you don't use too much fragrance oil as the crackle is a direct result of the amount of fragrance oil, type of wax, and amount of dye being used. So there are guides on many candle supplier websites that help you choose the right wick, but ultimately you're gonna have to wick test. So this is getting wicks of different types and sizes and trying them with your candle and analyzing the melt pool, mushrooming, tunneling, etc. So fun fact, actually a really, really sad fact, I did not do my research properly, nor wick test before buying wicks and shit was a mess. So boom. You know how when you're buying a product and you put it in your cart and then they show you like related products or people usually buy this with this. So I bought the soy wax, right? And I put it in the cart and I saw 
people usually buy this and it was eco for wicks so i was like but like obviously it's the wicks i need so i bought them you know brought them home tested them out in candle a mess it was not like the melt pool was not there like where it was tunneling like it was dark so obviously i had to go back into my research and i realized that oh there are types and there are sizes and it all depends on the diameter of your jar. So I measured my diam my diameter, which is I think 3.9. And I just like bought a lot of, they have like wick samples. If you go on candle supplier sites, they're gonna have wick sample kits. So I bought a kit and it had like different types, different sizes. Um, and I tried them at home and I'll insert like my wick test somewhere on this video. But I mean, like the fact that I didn't research that enough. So, <laughs> cause I bought, a, and I bought a lot of the Eco Forward too. But um, when I was wick testing with single wicks, cause that's what we wanted to start out with. I decided to double my Eco Four and see like how that would be. Cause the Eco Four was obviously too small single wick, but double wick maybe it would be perfect. So I did that and the rest is history. That is what we are using. Um, so yeah, just, the lesson of this whole thing is just to wick test. You need to wick test, like, because if your candle's not gonna melt properly, then what's the point? Like, so to summarize this video, there are types of wicks and different sizes of wicks that you need to make sure you test. You need to make sure you test. I'll say it again. You need to make sure you test. Um, and when you do, everything is gonna be perfect. Because as I said, you can have the wax, but if you don't have the wick, it's not gonna light. You're not gonna smell anything, it's gonna be trash. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check out our website again down below to use our discount, buy one, get one half off of our amazing candles. And follow us on social media, on Instagram particularly, because we're most active there. And yes, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Have a lit week.